Hello everybody, Morbtron here. Today is July 30th, 2019, which means Solstice of Heroes is here, and it's also a reset day. So once you load into the tower, you talk to Ava Labonte to start off to the event. Uh, it's different than it was last year. Instead of going through old story missions in heroic mode, we'll now have things called combat meditations, which can be launched from the tower once you unlock the ability to do them. I haven't talked to Ava yet. I haven't gotten my first set of armor yet. That's why I don't have that. Um, but the combat meditations are a three-player match-made activity, and you fight through waves of enemies, and your goal is to defeat as many mini-bosses as possible, and they reward legendary gear, enhancement cores, and other things as well. Uh, of course, there's going to be some new Eververse stuff. We'll get to that in a bit, though. Uh, throughout the week... There's going to be, or throughout the event, rather, there's going to be different elemental buffs you can go for. Now, if you notice here, it says Solar Empowerment. Defeating enemies with solar or elemental weapon attacks to create elemental orbs. Collecting solar and elemental orbs grants you empowerment. The empowerment for each element is different, and I believe it's week to week. Yeah, so this week is, or at least today, maybe it's daily, who knows, we'll see, is solar and the solar ele elemental buff makes it so that uh, once you collect enough orbs, you get a empowerment where you'll emit a burning wave of energy that damages anything around you. And that effect lasts for a short time or until you're dead. And that effect won't be turned on at all. And any of these empowerments will not be available to be used in Gamma Prime or Competitive. We'll see how that goes for a regular Crucible and regular Gambit. But uh, the Void, apparently, while you are empowered in your crouch, you become invisible and gain True Sight, plus ability regeneration. So, crouch, you go invisible, and you get Wall Hacks. That's going to be a little bit ridiculous for Crucible, I think. Hopefully it's not too easy to obtain, otherwise it's going to be a bunch of crouchy, campy people that can see through walls. That's not going to be a fun time. Um, and with Arc... You move with enhanced speed and deal greater melee and sword damage. So, yeah. Interesting. Um, as far as the rest of the stuff goes, there is an armor set to complete again and new glows to get. I think they look much, much better than they did last year. Uh, let's check out Tess Everest to see what she has for us. Uh, there's a new quest to pick up, I guess. Alright, so... Take a quick look once that goes away. Alright, here we go. The Legacy 2 makes your sparrow look like a, a speedboat, kind of. The speedboat sparrow. And the, the jet is like a, a wave of water. That's cool. That's actually pretty neat. That is Neato Burrito. Uh, Shaded Shell gives your ghost a... I don't know if you call that a pair of sunglasses. It gives him a sunglass. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, silly Handshake. Look at that again. Uh, Alright, yeah, I mean, I, I guess. Sunglasses projection. Eh. Uh, that's nothing new. Let's see here. Dream of a new world, a new weapon ornament for Sturm. Looks pretty cool, actually. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up because I don't have it yet. And what's this? Solstice Key Fragment. Requires completion of the Solstice Begins. This consumable item attracts Solstice Key Fragments at an alarming rate. Use at your own risk. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see what those do. Um, but let's check out... This stuff here. Okay, so... You can buy Armor Packs if you want to get all the glows. Uh, Arc Armor Glow Pack... Arc, Solar, Void, okay. Um, so apparently this is just for one-time bundle for any Guardian attuned to Arc Light, and this is going to pay the armor set for use in 2019 Solstice. Huh, okay, so this must be for all your Guardians? Why is this 5,000? I mean, that looks super cool. I really, really like that. Um... Yeah, these look really cool. Hopefully we'll be able to unlock these for free over time. 
We'll see, though. I don't know what the difference is between... Oh, Bright Dust. Okay. I'm dumb. So you can buy them for Bright Dust, which is actually nice. That's actually really good. And it's like, well... Eh, it seems like a way for Bungie to get <laughs> make us get rid of all of our Bright Dust before, uh, you know, the Bright Dust rework. Let's see here. Breathe in... Interesting. Looks like you're just like absorbing some light or something like that. Paperwork. That's what I do all day at my day job. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna emote that and flag on the play. Eh, interesting, I guess. And here's some others. Jesus, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh let's see your jubilant shell. Your ghost is in a beach ball. Kinda cool. Buoy shell, your ghost is chillin'. Chillin' in a floaty. We've seen Shilly, Silly Handshake, Flick of the Wrist. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but that's a thing. Hip Bump. That's cool. Uh, Micro Mini, this sparrow here. It's like they took a sparrow and just like crunched it up. Pretty cool. And then let's see here. Summertide Kite Ship. Triumphant projection, not worried about it. All these are other things, just as a beach ball transmit effect. Okay. Um, sand castle transmit effect. Interesting. All right, what do we got for bright dust? We've got paperwork, the micro mini, the hip bump, and oh, we got two new shaders as well. Pomegranate gloss. Looks pretty cool, actually. I like the, uh, the the chameleon red effect on that. And we also have tangerine gloss. That is very orange. That is so orange it hurts my eyes. Woo. Wow. All right. Archive is archive. That's nothing new. There we go. All right. Cool. That is done. Moving on to the rest of the solar system. I know this video is dragging on longer than my other reset videos, but there's a lot of new stuff. There we go. Rest of the solar system. Let's see what we have in the Crucible. We have Lockdown. No thanks. I'll be sticking to Quick Play. In Gambit, uh, I believe we should have the Oryx, the Shade of Oryx for the final boss. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section. Down below for Nightfalls this week, we have a Garden World, which gives you a exotic ship. Three of Probabilities, which gives you the DFA exotic hand cannon from your one. Legendary, not exotic, legendary hand cannon from your one. And the Arms Dealer, which gives you an exotic sparrow. All your one stuff. Neato burrito. The Flashpoint, forgot the word there for a second, is on Titan. If you're looking to do stuff for your Wayfarer title there. And the Dreaming City. Should be in a week, too. Yep, it is the second week of the curse cycle, so Petrovenge is in the Devalian Mists. And next week we will have Chattered Throne yet again, and week three of the curse cycle. As far as other stuff in the solar system, we're going to have a lot of grinding to do with the Solstice of Heroes, so I will be live shortly after this video goes live. Uh, for probably a majority of the day doing Solstice of Heroes stuff, so definitely join me. Come hang out, that sort of thing. Um, also, the music in this video is just the tower music. Figured I'd try that out for this video, see how that goes. But anyway, that is going to be it. So if you like this video, you want to show your support for me or my channel, hit that like button for me. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll give you one internet hug if you want it. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.